In this video, I'm going to show you the analytical solution of problem from our previous video about four bar linkage. So this is our uh, solution for problem 1-1. But uh, take note that this is only a partial solution because I, I did not draw the crank 4 for each change of position of crank 2. So for us to have a complete solution, we need to draw all of the crank 4 here. So I apologize for uh, any confusion. Okay, so let us start with the analytical solution. So for analytical solution, our reference is the book of Dyer and Constance, Introduction to Mechanism Design with Computer Applications from page 150 to 155, wherein the authors shows the derivation of the formula which can relate theta sub 2 or the angle of crank 2 and theta sub 4 or the angle of crank 4. So in our previous solution, we only determine these positions, the extreme positions, but uh, for this time, we are going to solve the angles, theta sub 4, so theta sub 4 is here, so this angle will show us the extreme position to the right of q sub 4, and this angle will show us the extreme position to the left, okay, so let us denote these angles, be our theta sub 4. So for the extreme position to the right, we need the minimum value of theta sub 4. And for the extreme position, we need the maximum value of theta sub 4. Okay, so we need to solve the theta sub 4 for each uh, theta sub 2. So meaning, our independent variable is theta sub 2 and our dependent variable is theta sub 4. So these are all the equations that we are going to use. So based from our previous problem, the given are the length of the crank, of course. So those dimensions will be denoted by A, B, C, and D. Of course, there are also other variables here in order for us to solve for theta sub 4. So for us to understand these uh, equations, what we need is, of course, our knowledge in trigonometry. Okay. So these figures shows all of our variables. And then we have uh, eight equations, but we can omit or disregard these three equations as long as we have this equation for f. So I use all of these uh, variables to solve uh, the other variables and then eventually the value of theta sub 4. So I formulate all of the equations in here, so in the formula bar. So I started from R, S, then followed by delta small letter delta okay and then in the last part we have theta sub 4 then using excel again we can determine the maximum angle for theta sub 4 if we have that maximum angle we can draw the extreme position at the left side and then for the minimum angle if we have that minimum angle we can draw the extreme position to the right okay so we can also measure or we can also solve the horizontal distance of the extreme positions using, of course, our knowledge in uh, geometry or trigonometry, okay? So, I use uh, theta from uh, 0 to 360, okay? So, uh, 153.615 for the maximum angle. And then for the minimum angle, theta sub 4 is 52.8323. Then, subtracting these two, we can solve the central angle or the angle between the crank at extreme position to the left and the crank at extreme position to the right. So if you take a look at these equations uh, or solutions, there are a lot of uh, numbers as you can see. Okay, so but alternatively, we can use Excel or the Excel solver to speed up our computation. So let us proceed to this uh, sheet of my Excel file wherein I solve for only one value of the variable. Okay. If we want to use Excel Solver, we need to use, again, uh, the equations. Okay, so for R, S, F, Delta, G, H, etc. Okay, so but our objective here is to solve for the maximum and minimum values of theta sub 4. So again, I use these equations. 
to formulate theta sub 4 in this cell. And of course, uh, theta sub 2 here. Now, if you want to use the solver function of Excel, we can just simply go to data. Okay, so take note before you use this solver, we need to tell Excel which of these uh, cells are variable and which of these cells will be used to display the maximum or minimum value. So in this case, for the maximum and minimum, so we have here in this cell. For theta sub 2, I did not include any formula because its value varies from 0 to 360 degrees. Okay. Now, if you already have the formulas here, we can now go to solver. If you click on solver, we need to check for or we need to set where is our objective. Okay. So in this case, uh, we have here in cell M36. Okay. So M36. This will be used uh, to display the minimum or maximum. So this time, let us consider or solve first for the minimum value. And then for this cell, since we want to change the value of Q sub 2, so we need to use this cell, okay? So which is Q sub 27 or Q27. Then next, for the constraints section, okay? So the constraint sections here are simply the limit of theta sub 2, which is from 0 to 360 degrees. So let us try to reset the constraints. Okay, then click on add. Okay, so again, to put the constraints, so let us click this cell. So less than or equal to, so let us uh, use uh, 360 degrees. So we can just type in 360 or click this cell. Okay, so that is 360 degrees. So this constraints will tell Excel that uh, this value is less than or equal to 360 degrees. Let us click on add. Then... Again, another constraint, we want that theta sub 2 be greater than or equal to 0. So let's click on that. So let us click on 0. So this means that our angle is greater than or equal to 0. So let us change this to greater than or equal to 0. Then click on OK. So there are a lot of selection here. Uh, GRG, nonlinear, simplex, LP, evolutionary. Okay. There are some descriptions about this type of method, okay? But for this specific problem, we are going to use evolutionary. Then click on solve. So let us wait for a while. So let us click OK. okay so the value is 52.8311. Okay, so we can also, of course, increase the number of decimal places. Okay, so let us take note this value. Now next, let us solve for maximum value of theta sub 4. Again, click on solver. Then click on maximum. Then click on solve. Let us click again. Okay. So, the maximum value of theta sub 4 is 153.6157. If we will compare our solution here, it's, uh, it's a little bit different because we have an increment of 1 degree uh, for this solution. But in here, theta sub 2 between 0 to 360, meaning all of those values between 0 and 360 degrees are included, including those with uh, decimal places. Okay, so this is more accurate compared to uh, this solution. Okay, so that is how we can solve the maximum and minimum value of theta sub 4. Now, we can also check this value or our formula if it is uh, correct or not okay so we can use any CAD software so let us use a uh, fusion 360 now let us draw the four bar linkage so let us assign the angles that we solve here so this is uh, 216.336 one so the angle for theta sub 2 so let us dimension this angle so 216.3361 okay then next we need to dimension or check for theta sub 4 so it is 153.61567 okay so that is exactly the same with uh, our solution in excel so, meaning our formula is correct.
Okay. Now, let us try for the other angle. So, that is 20.74182. Okay. So, let us substitute this value or let us dimension our 4 bar linkage here. So, let us use 20.74182 for theta sub 2. If you are going to check our value for theta sub 4, in Excel, we have 52.8311. And then, here we have 52.83111 also. If you want to measure the extreme position or we want to dimension the extreme position, we can also do that in Fusion 360. So we have 1.2083. Then for the other one, we have 1.7917. So we were able to verify the result of our computations using CAD software. If we want to compare the graphical solutions uh, in Fusion 360, so of course we can also do that. So this is the complete solution of problem 1-1 if we use graphical solution or graphical method. Now, if we want to check for the angles, okay, we can just simply click on uh, show dimension for this uh, specific figure. Okay, so I included all of the dimension of this uh, four bar linkage. So let us just click on show dimensions. So the angle here for the minimum angle of the extreme position to the right. So that is 53.48926. If you want to compare this value to our analytical solution. So there is a little bit difference. So 52.8311 here. So it's a little bit smaller okay and then for the maximum value which is 153.6157 uh, we have here 153.4648 okay so there is a little bit difference so meaning the smaller the angle here the accurate will be the result so that's all for this video thank you for watching